Hey guys, uh, my name is Haley Randall and I am a competitive powerlifter and a law student. Welcome to my channel where I talk about a wide variety of fitness related topics. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So today I decided to do something a bit different because I actually finally took the plunge and ordered some things from Gymshark. Um, I've been interested in Gymshark for a while, um, as most people probably have who have an Instagram at all. It's kind of everywhere. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Gymshark is a fitness apparel company um, that markets pretty much solely through YouTube and in, uh, Instagram influencers. Uh, they've done a really good job of gaining some traction in the fitness world by having people with huge social media followings. Um, market their clothes for them. One thing about them though is they're not necessarily marketed to strength athletes. Um, they're marketed much more towards like the bodybuilding, bikini, um, or just like general fitness crowd. Um, so I was curious as to how their products would hold up to some hardcore training. Um, so that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video. So one other thing that I did want to point out about Gymshark is that usually when you um, see a review for their products, um, it's done by one of their, you know, sponsored athletes or influencers or whatever. Um, so I was wondering and concerned um, about whether all of these reviews are 100% truthful or maybe there's a bit of bias there because these people are being sponsored by them. So I obviously um, am not... <laughs> in any way affiliated or sponsored by Gymshark, so everything that I say in this video um, is just coming from my experience with it. Um, now anyone who knows me knows that I am obsessed, obsessed with Lululemon leggings. Um, I wear them everywhere, I wear them every day, I have the Wonder Unders in pretty much every single color that they come in. Um, I wear them dressed up to work in school, I wear them dressed down to the gym, um, I love them, but obviously they are expensive, so I figured if I could find a brand that I liked um, to wear even close to as much as I like to wear the Lululemon leggings um, that was more affordable, I would be winning. So what I'm going to do today is compare and contrast between the Gymshark Flex leggings, which is what these ones that I ordered are, um, and Lululemon Wonder Under leggings. So I will compare them based on a few different criteria, including price, uh, fit, comfort, durability, and how good they are for strength athletes to wear while training. So the first thing that I'm going to compare is cost. So um, the pair of leggings, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, <laughs> So the pair of leggings that I got from Gymshark, uh, they are called the Flex Leggings. They come in like a billion different colors, um, color combinations, which is one thing that I do like about them. Like some of their color combinations are really, really nice. Like I love gray and pink together um, and I love like teal, blue and gray. I basically love anything in gray and they have a ton of different like uh, gray and bright color combinations. Um, so this pair is $38 American. Um, they are shipped from the UK, so this can add up, um, especially if you pay for the faster shipping. I didn't do this because I wasn't in a hurry and I didn't want to pay all that extra money. Um, <clears throat> so I just chose like the regular cheaper shipping option. Um, so they took about a week and a half to arrive um, with the regular shipping, which is pretty quick for something that's coming from the UK. Um, all in after currency exchange and shipping, uh, these leggings cost about $55 Canadian. So the Lulus um, that I'm going to be comparing um, are the Wonder Under High Rise Full Length um, leggings. Those are pretty much like my favorite pair of leggings from Lululemon, so I always tend to gravitate towards those and just buy them in like 500 different colors. Um, so those ones cost um, $110 Canadian, including tax. Um, I don't have to order them because I have a Lululemon store in my town, so 
I don't get them shipped or anything. I just go into the store and buy them. So all in the Lululemon um, leggings are about double the cost of one pair of Gymshark leggings. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is fit. So for a Gymshark, I heard that they ran a little small. Um, so I usually wear um, a medium in leggings. If they run small, then I'll go up to a large. Um, and I wear an, a size eight in Lululemon leggings. Um, just for just to help you guys out there um, <clears throat> so I went up a size in the gym sharks I ordered them in a large so they fit pretty well but they're a little looser than I would prefer I like my leggings to feel really tight um, I like them to feel when I'm like doing big compound movements and I'm running around the gym I like them to feel like they're like a second skin um, and these are not quite there for me um, they're a little loose in the waist, they're a little tiny bit loose in the hamstrings, um, they're tight, obviously they're tight in the butt because, yeah, but um, there's a couple other places where they're a little looser than I would prefer. Um, also, I prefer leggings that are high-waisted, and whenever I see a girl on Instagram wearing um, Gymshark leggings, they always looked like they were um, high-waisted, so I kind of just assumed that they would be. Once I got them, though, I realized that in order to make them high-waisted, you have to really, like, yank them up, and this uh, re results in a pretty serious camel toe and a pretty serious wedgie, so if that's going to bother you and you like high-waisted, then it's probably not going to be good for you. Um, in terms of look, this is where they lost some major points for me, so I really don't think that they look that great at all. Um, they kind of make my butt look flat, um, which if you know me, like it takes a lot to make my butt look flat. Um, and it makes it look kind of long. I really don't know how to explain it. Like I'm going to, I'm about to show you guys, um, me trying on the leggings so you can see for yourself. Um, I, I can't really put it into words, but basically like, I just don't think that they look as good or even close to as good as the Lululemon ones do. Um, Derek agrees. I <laughs> I asked him when I was wearing them if he thought they looked good, and he said like the Lululemon ones make my butt and my legs look way better. So second opinion also agrees with me. So next, um, I'm going to talk about the fit of the Lululemon uh, leggings. Obviously, you can't beat Lululemon when it comes to fit. For those of you who are curious, I wear, like I said, a size 8 in Lululemon leggings. The ones that I tried on, which are these ones, the Wonder Under um, High Rise Full Length, they are so freaking comfortable. Like, they feel soft. They feel like a second skin. Um, they're very high-waisted. I'll show you guys um, a video of me trying on these ones as well in a second. But you'll see, like, they go, like, they cover your belly button without you even yanking up. Like, they're, like, super high-rise. So, like, if you like high-rise leggings, like, you don't have to yank them up. It doesn't end up giving you a camel toe. Um, and they're also, like, very, very compression-y. Like, so... They feel soft and they don't feel super thick, but when you put them on, like they just hold you in so well. Like everything's just like, like tight. Like you're held like in. They do not move. Like I love them. And obviously, they make your butt look like nothing else. Like your butt will never look better than it looks when you're wearing a pair of Lululemon leggings. It's just, it's just true. 
So Lululemon, obviously, um, in my opinion, wins by a landslide um, in both of these categories. So um, the next thing that I'm going to do here is talk about both of these pairs of leggings in terms of durability and heavy training. Um, <clears throat> now I do have to give uh, full disclosure here that I have only had the Gymshark leggings for a couple weeks now, so they've only been washed a few times, whereas I've been wearing my Lululemon leggings for like a year, if not longer. Um, and I've trained in them literally a million times, um, so keep that in mind. But I did make sure to wear the Gymshark leggings for each of the major lifts. Um, so when it comes to Gymshark, um, I have to say that they are outperforming my expectations in this regard, because again, they're not usually um, marketed to strength athletes, so I kind of just thought, you know, they'll probably be a nice pair that looks good. Um, they're good for just kind of being around the gym, doing some cardio like lightly curling some dumbbells, I don't know, whatever people who aren't like crazy like me at the gym do while they're there. Um, and I had also heard a lot of stories about them ripping, um, especially like in the crotch area where leggings always seem to want to rip um, when you're doing squats. Um, so I have not had either of these issues. Um, <clears throat> the leggings have not gotten any tears in them at all and when I'm putting them on they feel they feel durable and the stitching is like it seems like it's gonna hold up like it it looks like really high quality stitching to me um, so although I cannot be a hundred percent sure of this I'm pretty sure that they're actually pretty durable and will last a while um, when it comes to the heavy lifting side of things, so I've worn them to squat, I've worn them twice to deadlift, and I've worn them twice to bench, actually. Um, and they definitely pass the squat test, um, and they actually stay in place pretty well while you're lifting. So, like, one thing I hate is, like, any, t any leggings that you have to, like, constantly be, like, pulling them up because you squatted and they start, like, falling down while you're squatting. These ones actually don't do that. Like, while you're squatting, they do stay in place really well, and they're very comfortable to work out in. Um, so I have to say, so far, they're actually great for heavy lifting, and they're comfortable, and I will definitely continue to wear them while I'm working out. Of course, my Lululemon <laughs> leggings are my absolute favorite leggings to lift heavy in. Um, when I'm doing compound movements, I like I said, I like my leggings to be very tight and compression-y. And this is one great thing about the Lulus is like they hold you in everywhere. And because they're so high-waisted, like when you're kind of like moving quickly, you don't have to worry about, oh, your gym, like your shirt going this way and your pants going this way and everything just like kind of all hanging out. Um, it just holds everything in. Um, I've also owned most of my Lululemon leggings for over a year and wear them constantly. And I've only had one pair rip. Um, they were my black pair and I like wore my black pair like to school, to work, to the gym. Like they were so versatile that I wore them like multiple times a week for like over a year. And then they just started ripping kind of like along the scene of the ankle right here and I honestly still wear them so obviously it didn't really phase me but they've never ripped in the crotch they've never ripped in the upper thigh there okay so in conclusion like one more thing that I did want to mention about these two different pairs of leggings is I am someone who like loves to wear leggings I guess as pants you would say like I love to wear like leggings with high boots and a sweater and a scarf and like wear that to work as like my going out outfit. Um, and 
I do this all the time with my Lululemon ones. Um, I think they look just as good um, worn out and dressed up as they do worn dressed down at the gym. And I would not do that with these ones. Like, they don't... I don't know. I just don't feel like you could dress these ones up. Like, maybe it's because of, like, the different colors or, like, just how they fit. But... Whatever it may be, I, I wouldn't wear these ones as pants. I wouldn't wear them dressed up out. I wouldn't wear them to work. Um, I'm lazy, so I would wear them to class, but like not as a dressed up outfit. So to me, in my opinion, if you're looking for just like a good pair of workout leggings that you really only want to wear to the gym, it's just about functionality. It's about having something to lift in. I do actually think the Gymshark leggings um, are good for that. Um, but if you're looking for like a pair of leggings that you will wear everywhere that look amazing that you'll look great in while you're working out in um, I just think the Lululemon ones are just like 10 steps above in this way like they're just above and beyond um, they're just on a whole different level than the Gymshark leggings so to me it's worth it to spend the extra money on one pair of Lululemons um, that I'll wear constantly than to you know buy the more affordable Gymshark ones and be able to like buy two or three different pairs Anyways, guys, that is all I have to say about the Gymshark versus Lululemon um, topic. If you've had any experiences with Gymshark um, that you want to tell me about or you have a preference or even if you have some other brand of leggings that you think are amazing and you love to lift in, um, please comment below and let me know. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.